Well, happy, beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here out of Houston, Texas with this edition of Doc Talk. And I've got to tell you, I've got a, my, one of my absolute favorite people, nutritionists, Diane Solano out of Toronto, Canada. She's an orthomolecular nutritionist, you know, possibly the top nutritionist in Canada, if not the entire world. Welcome, Diane. It looks like paradise. Where in the world are you at this moment? Oh my gosh, Dr. Bob. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I am actually in a much warmer place than Canada right now. I'm currently having this interview with you from Costa Rica. Well, how beautiful is that? And let's just dive right in for, for our people. So uh, how did you get where you are in, in terms of a profession? Was there any type of turning point in your life? You know, I think for most practitioners like ourselves, we start off with passion. Usually there's a, there's a reason behind why we start the health and wellness path. For me, it was my own personal health with hormones. For me, it was my, also my journey with my father's challenges being diagnosed with cancer. I spent about 20 years doing that orthomolecular nutrition part of it all. What are you eating? How is your diet? What are your supplements? And that was fantastic. And I think it brought me to a certain point in my career where I was doing enough change to see some great breakthroughs. However, I did notice that some people were doing everything right and were still not getting the optimal health that they really should have gained given the changes. And then I saw the other extreme. There were people that really weren't doing great things professionally, right? Doing the right supplements, the kind of diets, yet they were still thriving. And it really made me question you know, the health and wellness model. And, and it wasn't until I actually learned the works of Dr. Joe Dispenza I started to dive very deep into his work around the neuroplasticity, the mind, body, spirit connection, our cellular health and how they're so closely linked. And that's when everything started to come together on a deeper spirited practice, not just in my professional realm, but also personal. And I think that combination of, you know, knowing physically and biochemically what to do coupled with really paying attention to those inner thoughts, really looking at that level of personality and all the subconscious programming that we all carry really is where the turning point was for me. And that made a world of a difference, not only in my personal life, but also in a lot of my clients that have come see me throughout the years. It was a whole new level of health and wellness for them. You know, I want to get into that story a little, little deeper for a moment, but I, I also want to share something similar that I think will be a good comparison. So I was listening to a, uh, an audio by Dr. John Martini the other day, and he said he was in an audience. He asked people, you know, how many of you would like to be, you know, wealthy? Uh, and every hand went up, right? And he says, okay, for 99% of you, I'm calling you on your bluff because you're clearly not taking actions that are consistent with that mm -hmm. statement. But now let's go through your breakthrough. You were first an attendee with Dr. Joe. And, and by the way, you're, you're part of his team now, right? But uh, you, you had a life-changing moment, and, and how powerful. So share that. Walk us through that. You know, it's always about life giving you probably the ugliest gifts, but in the best wrapping paper. And that's exactly what happened to me. I think really things came to a head professionally, personally, when I encountered my separation. You know, I had a, I had a baby. I was in a relationship. I thought things were going to go in a different direction, and, and they didn't. It ended up being a very challenging part of my life. And I, and I questioned everything, I questioned everything about me, everything about what I was attracting, everything about that part of that heartbreak that is just so wrenching. And it was that summer that I was happened, you know, they say there's no coincidence, especially if you do his work, um, to be working with uh, another Hay House author, Colette Baron reed We were doing a program, a, a webinar at that time. It was a uh, program that she ran called Weight Loss for People Who Feel Too Much. And I was bringing in the biochemical neuroplasticity piece, kind of changing people's thoughts, habits. She worked with the energy piece. And I was bringing in a lo lot of work from Dr. Bruce Lipton and Dr. Joe Dispenza. And she knew how much I loved that work. And it just so happened that Dr. Joe was coming to Toronto to do a lecture. Um, this is before he became super famous. The room probably held about 300 people. And she invited me to the event. She invited us out for dinner with Dr. Joe. And it was a wonderful opportunity to get to know him up close and personal. Um, he's truly, truly a, a savant. He walks his talk. He is the real deal. And that evening, I just got closer to the work. And I didn't realize that it wasn't just theory. It wasn't just about the brain connection, but it was also about the spirit and how he basically took science and threw it into a test tube and showed the level of spirituality that really exists in all of us. Call it what you want, but there is a divine energy that lives on this earth and it 
it is the founder and controller of absolutely everything. And when you start diving into that work, that's when things really start to change. It was that weekend that uh, we were in that practicum with Dr. Joe and, and he asked us to do a meditation and go into a different part of our lives we want to change. Well, long story short, I got super emotional, held it to myself, but that's when he called me out of the room. He basically slapped me on the side of the head, you know. Not, not literally. Not, not literally, literally. No, no. He's not assaulting you. No, but, no. Yeah. Emotionally, he just called yeah. me out and he's like, Diane, what happened to you in there? And, and I didn't even know that he could feel the energy of the room. And he said, look, you know, I, could, I felt it. I could feel it. Let me tell you right now, everything that's happening to you, you created it. You created it. And it doesn't mean that you are a bad person. It doesn't mean you deserved it. It just means you unknowingly are creating that reality in your life and that needs to change. And the question is, what is it that you want? And you may not even know what you want, but I want you to think about what you want to feel. And that's when, yeah, I don't remember the rest of the words, but he basically sent me back in there and really shook me to the core. And sometimes in life we need that, that person, that mentor, that thing that just wakes us up and say, question, how I got to where I am, who I am, what is it that I want, how much more powerful I really am and never knew that I was. And this is where the inner work started happening and everything magically started to unfold after I started really encompassing the body of work that he teaches, which is we are bigger than what we know and everything is possible, especially healing, especially every adversity in your life. You know, you can really change that around, irrelevant of circumstance, gender, age, background. It's quite powerful. Well, it is beyond, and I want to thank you for really giving me the nudge to, to dive into Dr. Joe's work. And, and what I happen to love about him is all the stuff that we used to think was esoteric or, or really out there, and some might want to call it new age. It's quantum physics. It's pure science. And I even like what uh, Ed Milet says. You know, I used to think that there was science and there was philosophy and there was religion, but he says, you know what? I actually think that quantum physics is the bridge that brings it all together. So what's your top takeaway from quantum physics? Maybe that you can pay forward to others to really take charge of their life and get better. Thoughts are real. Feelings are real. And uh, I'll quote what Dr. Joe always says, you know, the thought sends a signal out that the feeling is what draws the experience back. So I always see it as a boomerang right? You send that thought out, but it's that emotion. And, and sometimes you have to feel the thing before it actually happens. And that's the unfortunate un programming that us humans have taken on for many, many years. It's we wait for that thing to show up, whether it be wealth, whether it be health, whether it be, you know, love, we're waiting for that to show up to feel it. And the reality is we need to experience it first, experience it first in our imagination, in our mind, finding it in other places, finding abundance and having running water, Perfect example. Listen, I was in Costa Rica. I've been here for the past week. And uh, from there are moments of the day, there's no running water. You know, we're in a place right now where they're trying to save. So they shut off at night. Something so simple, <laughs> like running your hands under clean water. hundred years ago, that was considered royalty. Can you imagine having clean running water at your disposal at any time? So if you stop and think about all the abundance in your life that you're experiencing right now that you don't even know exists, is what's gonna start creating that feeling, that emotion, irrelevant of whether you can pay your bills or not. Listen, I was there and I know what that's like, but we have to get past that reality because we created that, right? So what if we just go into the emotion and we start using the most powerful tool we have in our toolbox that we've never been told, but it's our imagination. What if we just started really using that intentionally and we started to create that reality? And that's where the magic really lies. So I invite people to go out there and, and really start understanding that work because it will change your life on every single level. Yeah, he's certainly a good ambassador for showing what's possible with, you know, incredible healings and other people, you know, getting phenomenal wealth, which by the way, you've done. So was that a focus for you? It was. I'll tell you right now, I love the health and wellness space. I love seeing clients. I love leading other corporations and doing health and wellness programs. But I'm a Generation X baby. There was no scaling. There was no online anything. So it was very much belly to belly. It was very much seeing the old paradigm of brick and mortar practice. And, you know, when I had the baby, that's when I realized I can't go back to 12 hours a day, eight hours a day, hustle, grind as much as I loved it was because I'm the mom now. How, 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 how am I actually going to not only pay my bills, but I want it to be abundant. I was so tired of hitting the same financial ceiling for the past 20 years. 
And I didn't understand how wealth consciousness worked. And I just remember struggling, you know, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, you know, just passing on from low interest credit card to low interest credit card. And, and when I had the, you know, dark night of the soul and I realized I'm recreating my life, what is it that I really want? I wanted to feel abundant. I wanted to never have to worry about the price of food again. I never wanted to worry about credit card debt again. And I didn't understand the word scale and leverage, but I knew I wanted to have experiencing a new level of abundance and wealth. And again, I didn't know what that was, Dr. Bob, until you, who have been my mentor for the past 20 years easily in the functional medicine space, and thank you for all the work you've done for not only for myself, but many of my colleagues. It was you that I approached you know, at that time and I, I just point blank asked you, how do I make money in the field of health and wellness? Because I don't have a tech background. I'm not a marketing agent. I don't know where else to build you know, my foundation if all I know is the health and wellness space. And that's when you introduced me to the uh, Mushroom Coffee Organo brand that was my calling. That was my answer for what I wanted, a community, an empowering place, a place where I can scale and leverage, a place where I can bring in abundance, a place where I can still make a difference that's what I was looking for. And it all came under that umbrella. So that's really where the journey started. And thank you so much for that. Because that led me to understanding wealth creation, understanding how to take what you make and make it leveraged for you. And that's the reason why I'm here, Dr. Bob is because without that, I would have never been able to come and start building a second home in Costa Rica, I would have never been able to take this time away from practice and uh, start having different life experiences, right? That location freedom, that uh, time freedom, that's the new wealthy, that new emotional freedom. Like I love what Sachin Patel says, whatever controls your nervous system controls you. Guess what? It's no longer crappy relationships that control me anymore. It's no longer credit card debt that controls me anymore. It's no longer worrying about where I'm going to be able to, you know, fund the following thing. It's not worrying about, you know, taking care of my aging mother because, I found Dr. Joe's work. And through that, I called in these beautiful different platforms and souls like yourself. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you for paying it forward so beautifully. You know, here's an interesting thing. I, I've had conversations with people where I, my life wasn't where I wanted it to be. And you know what? The last thing I wanted to hear was, well, it's your fault right now. Dr. Joe said that in a very polite way. So how can we get people that message without essentially putting them on the spot. You know, I get on my defensive. Hey, you know, it's your fault. What are you talking about? It's my fault. I can't control well, this. What can you control? You know, how, how, he, do we, how do we deliver that? Yeah. I remember him saying you created it and okay, you unknowingly good. are creating it. You unknowingly are creating it. You unknowingly are singing that same song that, that you keep repeating in your mind over and over again. That's the song that needs to stop. If it's the lack of, of, of income or the lack of financial, you know, maybe it's financial stress, you're playing over and over your head, that, that needs to stop. As real as that feels, it needs to stop. You need to start creating new thoughts, start feeling new emotions. And like I say, it could be so basic, like having food on your plate, so basic, like sleeping in a warm bed. And those are the vibration signatures that start to change that field and that level of attraction. So I always use the analogy of, of radio station. Right. We are all like a radio station or even better yet now, because even the radio is starting to phase out. So there's probably some millennial going out and listen to the radio um, like your algorithms, right? Your, your cell phones or your your social media. What are you constantly looking at? Because the algorithm knows what you like. So it keeps bringing you more of that. Right. So if you love cats and you keep looking at cats, well, guess what? You're calling in more cat videos. But if you want that to stop, you need to start looking and playing with that algorithm, focusing on the things you want to start creating. Well, now you got to change that signal. You got to change that scrolling, those choices. That's where you start to attract differently. And, and that's where I say, it's not just our thoughts because you could be thinking, oh, I'm abundant, I'm abundant, I'm abundant, but you're not feeling it. It's the feeling. Your only job on this earth is to be joyful and happy and to connect to that deeper part of you, that deeper divinity, whatever that looks like. I don't care what creed, what culture, what religion, give, give it whatever name you want. But it really is the electromagnetic field that comes in some divine nature that we can't even explain. And you study deeper. And, and us in the functional medicine medical space, I love the material because his material goes deep into the science. And I needed that. My analytical mind needed to understand how. And then when it started to come together and I started reversing engineer, I couldn't believe how magic 
this world really is and how magic and powerful each and every single one of us are. So I really encourage people go out there, understand the work, dive deeper, understand how magic and powerful you are and go out there and start creating whatever it is that you want. As long as it comes from love, it'll never be wrong. Well, I love that. That's some of the best wisdom ever. What's the best way for people to connect with you? Wow. <laughs> I'm now building my social media. Um, yes, I got the memo enough from, from all my other young and friends going, you got to get moving with it. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's Diane Solano, Diane with two N's. That's one way of finding me. Um, so it's I T S D I A N N E Solano, yep. S O L A N O. Got it. Yep. That's probably the easiest way. All right. Any final wrap up words of wisdom to share? Well, whatever you want in this world, it wants you. It really does. What is your deepest, deepest heart desire? Think about that. Play with it. Enjoy whatever magic it is that you want to experience and create and go out there and be the best version of you and have fun because we're really meant to also enjoy this beautiful dimension. And I just encourage everyone to just stretch themselves over and beyond what they think is possible and make magic happen, Dr. Bob. Well, you're amazing at that. And you have helped so many achieve so much. So I'm, I'm super proud of you. I'm honored to be your colleague and friend. And I think we'll be talking again. So, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so much to share. Thank you. Always enjoy paradise. Thank you. Thank you.